Okay, uh, this is JB. The uh, This is actually Justin Bieber, by the way. Real, real and true. See? It's you. Oh, this is okay. You scored here, but this is really scary to go for. Any touch here, and you're fucked. <laughs> you're so lucky he missed this. Instantly, it's a goal for them if he misses. So, you know, you scored, but be cautious next time because any touch here, it's probably a goal. Just let him go, let him, let him clear it. He's gonna pass it to you probably. Close. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't even go for this. I would just let him go again because there's no real threat on your net and there's a chance you can actually gain a possession afterwards. Going for the 50 here isn't really worth it because it's gonna go somewhere kind of random. Um, but, you know, if you waited, baited him out one more time, just grab the boost in 180. Um, you could probably start a possession. There's a good chance he'll hit it. He'll actually hit it to you. Because he's not going to expect you to fake challenge there. So then it's the perfect time to fake challenge. Bang! Two in a row! Oh god. Amazing start. Little risky here. It might be hard to tell that he actually has a possession here. Um, or he's really close to this. But your teammate's also in the corner, so especially in twos, it's if your teammate's away, you know, it's hard. You're last man back, so it's you have to be very picky on what you commit for. Same with the first goal that I was mentioning. It's like this guy's right on the ball. Any ball past you is likely a goal. Although I don't think this one ends up being a goal. It's very close. Maybe it does. Yeah, it does. I would 100% say this one's on you, for sure. Your last man back and you just over-aggress, he's right on the ball. And you're beat by a mile. Let's take a touch. Just loop back around the net, this works as well. Playing, that's, that's what I meant, like playing backboard there. Looping back and playing backboard. Although, I think you should definitely have that touch. A little scary now. You're good. And you got the boost. It's really good. I wouldn't go for the ball. Let your teammate go. That's good. That's close. Try to get some boost. Stay in the play. Nice car. This is fine. I actually think this is fine to play this a little bit more aggressive. I thought this boost was here too. But it's good because like nobody's challenging instantly. So. Okay. Right here, I would um I would not be heading back here. I would probably like get close to the ball and if you can beat them 100 percent fake or not fake. If you beat them 100 percent play the ball and like take a possession. Um if you can't beat them 100%, then just shadow the play. You don't want to go back here because then it's going to give them a possession and they're able to start it. And now there's a good chance you double commit because your teammate already spawned. See, look how awkward he is now. He's like, oh, my teammate's going. So you end up delaying your contest or your challenge and then it makes your teammate think he's supposed to go and then it's too late at that point. Now you're basically both going. Although it ends up working out again. Not going to lie, you're kind of a lucky Larry this game. Straight luck. <laughs> Last man back. It's a good bump by your teammate. Really good clear as well. Oh! A little spicy aerial. Come on! Get up there! Okay, look, you, you had, like, your teammate has a really good touch here. Um, if you just slowed down at all, you would be so much more ready for this play. And then they clear it. You, you can jump. You can jump backwards. You know? 
Maybe, okay, maybe you can't control your car. But the thing is, is like, if you jump, here, let me show this real quick. If you're not comfortable doing an aerial backwards like that, like what? Uh, like, oh, I don't know, the ball's not there, so it's weird. So like this, flying backwards. You can still jump backwards. Oh God, I'm trying to do this with the rear view. Jump backwards and then air roll. <laughs> And then go forward. Does that make sense? What if I turn off ball cam? Does that help? You'd be backwards. Not really, but backwards, air roll, and then fly towards it. Right, you can do that if you're not comfortable flying upside down. Oops. Right, like that. You would air roll first and then do it. All right, hold on. Can't spoil the replace. And there's like three minutes left. Yeah, right here. But doing this full 180 is super slow to go for the ball. And like at that point, you might as well just wait for them to touch it and then play their next touch. Because they've already beaten you because you've like, you had to slow down, you had to 180, you had to do everything before they just jumped. This would be a really good fake challenge because you're not in a position to actually get like a really good touch on this ball. I just, as soon as you realize you're beat, you should just like leave. Make him do something and leave. Make sure, and just try to get back. Dang, no, that was really good positioning too, right here. Again, one more time, be careful going for this. It's not too, it's not as threatening as the other one was, but might be better to just play their touch. Cause now look at your recovery. I think your teammate actually does some on this, but no, he doesn't. But it was pretty close. But you have a slower recovery just because you ended up going for that. This, yeah, definitely be careful here. Last man bag. Oh, so close. <laughs> that was a really good opportunity as well. Take a possession. Try to stall for your teammate to get back on defense. You don't just want to rush this and you don't want to center in mid for them. This works. It's really good. Bought enough time. Grab the boost. Ah, you, you should 100% be grabbing this boost. Like you've already let the ball pass you. So you should, like right here, as soon as he hits it, you should be going back for the boost. Because you don't want him to take it like that. There you go. Make sure you're trying to beat this first guy. You're not going to, he's not challenging you, so you're not going to beat him here. Right? You want to actually get like a clean beat here. But this is, that ain't it. Right, just keep like keep watching them. Keep your eye on them. You should be watching them over the ball, like in that situation. Just seeing if he challenges you. Oh my god, what a shot. See, here's one where you're more patient and you waited for them to pass it to you and now you actually have a possession. This is exactly what I mean. Wait, Rizzo, is it five and over to win or six to win? It's 5.5. .5. So under 5.5, .5, which is five goals and under, would win that one. Or over 5.5, .5, which is six goals and over, would win the other one. That's why you put the point five there. So you don't have to... So they don't have to explain it. <laughs> That's the reason I wasn't doing the 0.5 because people get confused by the 
but I'm over it now. But again, really good possession player. Good catch, it's just not the best flick. I would be a little careful, like, hovering under this ball as well. That's fine. I think you were in a good spot to go for it as well. So it wasn't too bad. But your teammate ended up getting a really good clear. It wasn't like some shit touch, which is important. Again, prioritize beating this first guy. He's not challenging you, so you still have time on the play. But you definitely want to um, take advantage of this. Wait. And that you did. <laughs> good work. Yeah, actually, I don't know how that one went in, but the guy just never challenged. He's done that like three times already in the, throughout the game. Where he just doesn't challenge. Oh, no. Okay, it's over. Like taking candy from a plant. Easy. What rank do you guys think it was? Lots of diamonds in there. I see one person who got it right. What? Two people. Shut up! I'll pay up, man! Chill! What if I just cancel it? How about that? What if I just do that? What if I give it to the other squad because you're complaining so much? <laughs> Chat, he was, uh, he was champ too. Scam him! Scam him! Must be NA then. I don't know, man. People have a hard time thinking. Not because people will see a replay. And then the also, if you're going to send me a replay, don't fucking send me a win. Holy shit. How many times do I have to say that? Please. I can't really help you if you're winning the game. That's not the point. Unless you're just trying to show off for chat. I can't really say much. But what was I talking about? Oh, if, a re if somebody thinks somebody is worse than them, they have a hard time saying that it's like above their rank. So I know most of you guys in chat are in diamond and plat. What? No way that guy's better than me. Unfortunately, I know just how bad I am. Damn.